Hey you guys, welcome back. Um, happy Friday. Fridays are ruled by Venus. Uh, this So this is governed by Libra and Taurus, likes of relationship issues, or not necessarily issues, but things to deal with coming up. Contracts, revitalizing them or moving forward in them. This is speaking of beauty, our self-worth, our how it is that we value our ourselves our possessions what it not only just our material possessions but how it is what it is that we possess within i will let y'all know this is the third time that i'm recording this video because i thought it was a good idea to put my cards on top of the computer and it kept stopping my recording but it's okay so i already got the cards pulled let's take a second to breathe i'm gonna spray to clear the energy Ask whatever questions it is that you need to ask. Um, let spirit come through you so that these answers can be fitting for you. I pulled four cards. I'm gonna talk about the astrology really quickly. We're still under the last quarter moon, so it's still a good time to release um, anything that's coming up that's not serving you. Release that. Anything that's not real, release that. We're in Taurus. The moon is in Taurus. It's at a sextile to Pluto and Saturn. So we are reworking, rebirthing everything it is that has no longer brought any value to our lives, you know, on an emotional level, our wants and our needs, how it is that we've been thinking about ourselves, how it is that we've been thinking about others, how it is that we've been thinking about our relationship with others. This is all over for review and the old is time to let the old go so that we can fully invest ourselves into the life it is that we're destined to with the moon being sextile to the north node to mercury in retrograde to venus you know really coming into our desires really coming into a pleasant way of thinking about ourselves really changing up uh what it is that we have been given on a foundational basis that we've grown up with in our childhood that is no longer serving us you know coming into what is destined for us so that we can carry this into fruition, into our future selves, into our future lives, you know, and we also have a sextile in, of the moon to, to Neptune, right? So this is getting rid of all of those illusions, being aware, this is bringing to light the illusion so that we can do the work, Saturn, and release Pluto, and come into what is real, you know, and what really belongs to us, what is for us, you know, so it is a very good time to sit with that this weekend, it's going to be a weekend of really moving through this energy, because once um, the moon moves into Cancer, we are going to need to integrate everything it is that we have been, that we've been acknowledged, all the blocks, that um, are keeping us from the the blockages, the illusions, the lack of spiritual practice, the old ways, they're going to be coming up for review over the weekend and we'll be able to be, we'll be able to see this so that we can fully move out of this energy, you know, come the next week when we are being supported by the moon in Leo and expressing ourselves and showing up in uh, our healed self that we've been identifying with all these years that do not serve us, right? So I've already pulled the cards for the day. And for right now, what we have is the awakening. So we're being woken up into all of these things, even if we are unsure of what it is that we need to let go of, it will know that by at least by next week, you know, but right now we have to awaken to what it is, awaken to new ideas, awaken to new ways of loving ourselves, to loving others, um, you know, but this guy, he's not experienced, so he needs time to really work the things out and really make them happen for himself. He has to, he has to learn by the going, by the doing, you know, and we got the waning gibbous moon. Is this the waning gibbous? It might be the waxing gibbous. Let me check. It's the waxing gibbet. So we need to really take time to 
um, adjust anything, to take time to persevere through this time because it's, it's not going to be the easiest. We're switching things up, right? So what we're coming into is trusting ourselves, learning to trust the niggle. Whatever comes up, learning to listen to ourselves, learning to trust our intuition. And in this, ending old cycles and coming to a very fortunate, very fruitious, very abundant place of being. You know, we got the, I'm sorry, these moon cards. This is the waning quarter moon, right? So, or the last quarter moon. So this is a need to release. You know, we're coming into letting go of old cycles, listening to ourselves, trusting ourselves, and really uh, taking the time to adjust anything that no longer, that is just no longer serving us. Like what I talked about with the astrology, these cards are really on point to the astrological energy that we're dealing with right now. So the advice that we're getting from spirit is to answer the call, answer whatever is coming up for us, allow things to show up so that we can move into them. Do not allow the mental clutter, five of swords, the mental confusion. It's going to be, it's probably going to be confusing because we, like I said, we're changing, we're ending an old cycle, we're graduating and coming into something very new, something very benevolent. And if we haven't been there before, it might seem odd, but it's not, it's right. And don't let the confusion get the best of you. Let these full moon realizations come through so that you can fully harvest everything it is that you've learned, everything it is that has been given to you in order to be where you are you know you we go through everything it is that we go through so that we can fully be ourselves so that we can fully get everything it is out the way that doesn't serve us because a lot of times we're operating off of programs that don't belong to us and it's important to let these things go so that we can fully invest in the truth of ourselves so the last card that the advice that we got for the weekend is to focus on the things that light you up. What makes you feel good in life? What is it that, um, what, what is the soul calling? What is the soul purpose for you? What is the soul led life look for you? What is, what do you need to embody? All right. Every day so that you can be lit up so you can be lit. We got the temptation. Well, we got the temptation card. So this is a over a need to overcome any material obsessions. Um, focus on within, you know, and also even to materialize these things, you know, so that we can get live the life. We got the earth card. The earth also this symbol here also represents the port of fortune, but the earth in esoteric astrology also speaks of what we came here to do. So that is most likely what it is that has lit, that lights you up. You need to focus on bringing these things to fruition. Because the temptation card is the devil card. And the devil card is not always speaking of um, something bad. Sometimes it is just manifesting. It is just bringing to life, to life what it is that we desire in this life what is it that is going to make us happy what is it that is going to make us go you know so um take some time to sit with this i think that's it with the devil card i also want to say don't allow the temptations of going backwards to stop you from doing things that really make you feel good even if it's not agreed upon you need to do what it is that you need to do for yourself be teachable learn whatever it is that you need to learn but take that and do you you know so that you can live this life so i hope that this was helpful let me know if you need anything and i will see you guys on monday bye